So you want it centered horizontally, but you want to go to the top of the texture. Now we do not know what well, we do by our code, but what if we want to change our origin? We do not really know that our origin refers to the center. So what we want to do is we want to go to the top left of our uh, texture, of our source texture, and then add our source dot texture dot width divided by two. Now you can make that float, you can make that whatever you want. Since width is int and two, we can just make it as an integer divide. So now we add the half of the width. So now it's referring to the top center. Okay. So now velocity is equal to vector 2.0. We need to do some stuff here when we have our player and our enemy classes going. Now rotation is equal to, we can actually do this, float math.a tangent we just want to do the velocity dot x divided by velocity dot y okay so that just grabs the rotation of our bullet where it's looking at now our bullet we want to set die time to be time span dot from seconds as 0 0.5 this just says it'll take uh, half a second for it to die and then base dot initialize okay so now we want to control where our enemy how long our enemy can stay alive so how where in the game window it can travel so we'll do that by having a rectangle let's call it bounds and we need to pass to the constructor so after ship source add a comma we need to add a way to pass on a dimensions of our game window so that's called the viewport now you can make this a rectangle or you can do a vector 2 but in this case it, I'll just make it a viewport that way I can just pass a viewport and be done with it and let's just call it view so our bounds are base, are simple we do not want to make it too dynamic in this tutorial so our bounds are going to equal to a new rectangle 0 comma 0 this identifies the top left of the game window comma view dot width comma view dot height now the viewport holds the dimensions of the game window so width and height are 1280 by 720 in this tutorial because I'm doing it at 720p resolution if you want to change your resolution the viewport will reflect that okay so for this tutorial the dimensions are going to be 00, zero top left by 12 to 1280 by 720 bottom right so the whole game window the bullet can travel okay so now underneath the initialize we need to do public override update and we leave base dot update but let's code above it if position dot x is less than bounds dot x or position dot x is greater than bounds dot width so it's greater than the right side of the game window now we can modify this by doing width minus texture dot width or whatever if you want to but I'm just going to leave it as simple as possible so position.x is less than bounds.x, which means if it's less if the position is less than the left side of the game window, or position.x is greater than the right side of the game window. So that's the horizontal direction. Now we need to worry about the vertical. 
or position dot y is less than bounds dot y or position dot y is greater than bounds dot height so if it's anywhere outside of our game window we want to die we want to destroy the bullet that way we do not want to keep updating a bullet that's just traveling out in space we cannot see we do not want to keep on drawing a bullet that we cannot see so there's no point in keeping it around so let's just kill it off and that is it for the bullet for now because we need to modify the velocity later on depending on if it's a player or it's a enemy so that's it for this tutorial. Next tutorial we'll discuss the player sprite.